Time now for Ask the Expert. Recent news regarding calcium supplements and the increased risk of cardiovascular disease has risen concern, rising concerns, prompting many physicians to have their patients stop using it. So now the latest data differs from that opinion. So try to sort all this out, we have Dr. Brian Baer to discuss this important topic. Walk us through this. What are we talking about with these calcium well, supplements? In recent years, there's been information that has been suggestive that calcium causes an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, the mechanism being deposition of calcium in the coronary arteries. Mm -hmm. And this prompted physicians to tell their patients to stop taking supplemental calcium. And as we know, uh, as we age, our risk of not only heart disease goes up, but our bones becoming more thin and more brittle, especially in women, especially in people who don't take calcium. Right. So a recent study has shown that uh, looking at about 500,000 people, that it actually refuted the data, and this has opened the door now for us to talk about calcium supplementation again. So just talk about why are we really taking it in the first place? Well, calcium is essential for bone health mm -hmm. and reduction of osteoporosis. And um, people can take calcium, but they normally don't get enough in their diet. So we recommend calcium with vitamin D. And as you know, vitamin D is usually low in many people, mm -hmm. especially if you live up in Wisconsin yeah, exactly, in the northern right. areas where yeah. we don't get sun for six months of the year. So um, most people, especially the elderly, don't have a great source of it. And then we recommend that they supplement and also uh, Get a, have a better diet. And we have a graphic that shows, talks about the, the good sources of calcium are mm, in fortified kale. dairy products and fortified cereal. Believe it or not, kale, kale. is good and, and greens are Any an excellent type source. Of dark green? Right. Exactly. So can you get all you need from these? Four? You can get close, okay. but mm. the problem is, is that you're probably still going to be low in vitamin D, and vitamin D is inherent in absorption of calcium from the gut. Oh. So oh. If, you don't, if you get the calcium and you can't absorb it, it's not going to help you adequately. So what's the dosage one should take? Well, the current recommendations now are that people under age 50 take 1,000 milligrams of calcium a day with vitamin D. Uh -huh. People over age 50 should take 1,200 with vitamin D. Anything 2,000 milligrams or above is not recommended. And of course, it's still important to try and get as much as you can in your diet. And just to mm -hmm. be clear, those are the recommended doses, even if you're doing those other things? Correct. Eating okay. the kale, eating yeah. the right. cereal. So make that part of your daily diet. Exactly. All right, Dr. Bear, thank you very much. Got a question for our experts. Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number's right there for your taping.